Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well and today we are back on the sky with the cubecraft skyblock island. Today we are going to be doing a whole bunch of automation today because we got iron in last episode so now we can use a hoppers and we can automate a whole bunch of things. But uh, just quickly before we do that I want to update you on what I've done with the island. Uh, as you can see I made some iron armor. If we put on our helmet, I got I made some iron armor and made a whole bunch of iron tools. Although I'm still using my stone tools just because they have better uh, enchants. Although I accidentally broke my uh, stone pickaxe with all the good enchantments on it. So we're probably going to upgrade uh, an iron axe soon. I do not have enough levels for it and I keep dying so I don't want to try and get levels right now until I absolutely need to get it. Uh, we also I also made a huge... Uh, watermelon farm. I just harvested so there's no watermelons and they take about like two hours to grow <laughs> So yeah, that uh, That's but it's they they are a uh, watermelons are a very good income. Oh, where did I put them? Yes over here, so uh, Yeah, watermelons when you break them they come out as like these the watermelon type and these sell for like only a little bit sell watermelon and 23 sells for 5,000, which is not that bad, but if we put it into melon form like this, and then sell islands, sell melon, and these sell, two sell for 3,000. So if we come over here, I have about uh, a stack and 14 melon right here. We're not going to sell it right now, but if we go sell items, sell melons, like about a stack is a hundred and fifty thousand coins so uh watermelon are a very good source of income and i'll probably make this thing longer as well as time goes on because yeah the this is very uh like very very good uh the other thing to note over here at my chicken farm uh i've already made it automatic so uh oh no <laughs> I, yeah, I die way too much in this game to be just trying to sell everything So that's why I'm not selling things right now because I die so much uh, But yeah, so I've automated the chicken farm uh, if you remember we had doors here so I could stand in there uh, So that I could collect the chicken, but now what I have is water on one corner and they're all flowing into the waters flowing into this corner and if we get an axe and we come down here uh, you can see it, like everything's flowing to this one corner here that has a hopper and if we open up this hopper I haven't afk for long and we already have like a whole bunch of raw chicken and feathers And yeah, so that's kind of what like the automation we're gonna be doing today But we're gonna do be doing it with like a whole bunch of our farms and we're also gonna be making new farms like a cactus farm We're gonna be making today and so yeah a viewer also pointed out that I uh in the birch, uh, the birch island, uh, I had missed a couple pieces of uh, pieces of iron. So uh, they told me, and I went back and I found some more iron. So now we got a little bit more iron. Uh, these take about fifty minutes to generate, but yeah. So uh, if we come over here, I've actually kind of uh, organized my chests. So the first two are blocks. The next one is just random items. And then the last one is all our valuables, so we have about two stacks of iron. Yeah, so about two stacks of iron, which is great. And if we come over to this, and let's look at our quest for a second. Iron out the kinks, that should smell iron, but I think... What's this one? Craft an anvil. So yeah, let's craft an anvil quickly. Um, this won't take up too much iron, we need to make three blocks of iron and then we can make an anvil and that's one of our chests done and i think with an anvil we can actually repair yeah we can actually repair our stuff without having to go into the skyblock hub and then come over here and then use the anvil here we can actually go and just use it in our island which that is uh that is spectacular uh let's look at our quests again Okay, we did not get a new one from that. Okay, that, that was kind of a little bit of a iron waster, but whatever. Uh, the other three quests that I'm trying to do right now is iron out the kinks, which is smell iron, 
deforester, which is gather birch logs. And the birch logs, the uh, you see, I, I don't know if you can see, but I've I'm growing uh, birch saplings there, but they take about ten hours to grow. Uh, I have a whole bunch of logs already, but yeah, they take ten hours to grow, so it's gonna take a while. Also, birch logs sell for like a lot. Uh, let's take our like about I don't know how much stacks is that. This is about like eight stacks, so let's go. Oh, that's buy items. So let's go sell items. Uh, sell birch logs, two hundred and eighty thousand coins for like nine stacks of birch logs. So if we're ever in need of a whole bunch of money, uh, we can use these birch logs. <laughs> and then the last quest that we have that's important is mel melon farmer and just harvest melons. Uh, so yeah, it it takes a while to grow, but when they do, I harvest them immediately so that we can get that quest done. So yeah, now on to the automation part of uh, the, the episode. Uh, so we're gonna get some wood here. Uh, we're probably gonna need a lot of wood, so let's just grab a whole bunch of wood. We're also gonna need some iron. Uh, let's leave half a stack of iron just for backups if we need it, but let's spend most of this iron to make hoppers. Let's make some chests first, and then let's make some hoppers just like that. Eight is probably good for now. Uh, we're gonna start by automating our farms already, and then we're gonna go and automate a cactus farms after that. But yeah, so I'm actually uh, gonna move the zombie spawner. Like I'm gonna keep the actual structure, but I'm gonna move the zombie spawners because we need a better thing because uh, rotten flesh sells for a lot. And if we can get it automated, then we, we can get like a really cool automated money source type thing. So we're gonna move the spawners, but we're gonna use this uh, this structure here for cows. Uh, I don't know, I'll probably do that in between episodes because what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to build down a whole bunch so that we can make like a, zo a drop zone so that uh, cows can drop down and then die. Uh, so we'll probably do that next episode, but uh, for right now, let's go and get these spawners. Okay, and just like that, we got the four spawners in our inventory. And then let's just kill all the remaining zombie here just like this. Some of them have a lot of health, uh, but if we kill them all just like that, come on, die. Okay, and just like that, we've killed them all, and that gave us a lot of levels. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna... This is kind of like my farms, like a uh, mob farm section of... The island so I'm gonna actually make the zombie farm right beside uh, our other two farms so like right about here and what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to build a little platform here and then we're just gonna build up about I'd say about like 20 to 40 blocks so I'm just gonna buy like a one by one area just like this so I'm gonna do that quickly now Okay, so now that we have uh, the funnel down, this is about 30 blocks in the air. Uh, this is like the drop zone for where our zombies are going to drop down and die to fall damage. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to build out a little platform here. Yeah, just a small platform just like this. Probably like 8x8 eight eight or something like that. It doesn't have to be too big, but it can't be that small either. Okay, so uh, we built this little platform. It's about eight by eight, and now we're gonna put some walls on it. Okay, now that we've built like a three high wall around the entire thing, we're gonna wanna come down into the middle here. And we're gonna actually first wanna make a crafting table and then make a sign. So let's get some sticks and then let's make a sign. And we're just gonna wanna put the sign right here like that. And then we can break the crafting table. Okay, and then we're going to want to put water all the way across just like this. So kind of like that. And now it's flowing all the way across. And then we're going to want to put one more water source right here like that. So now everything should be flowing 
uh, yeah, correctly write down, oh, write down <laughs> into that, uh, ah, <laughs> into that drop zone. Um, okay, yeah, it's, I'm great at this game. I die way too much, but that's fine. Uh, so now that that's done, uh, we'll go back up there in a second, but we, what we can do right now is we're gonna break, uh, these thing, uh, the four, or, yeah, these, uh, bottom blocks here, uh, we're gonna wanna set up a little, like, drop zone catch area, so we're gonna make another chest, and then, uh, put the chest there, and then we're gonna put a hopper on top of it like that. We'll probably make it a double chest soon, but right now that's good. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna put a block here, block here, and break these blocks just like this. And another block right there. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go back to our chest and get some sand and some cactus. Uh, we're gonna set up the cactus so that if uh, if a zombie drops and they do not actually die from the because some of the zombies are really strong and have a whole bunch of health uh, if they drop and they do not die uh, these cactuses will kill them okay and then we got three more cactuses and we want it too tall so that when zombies do fall they can actually get hit by it because if it's only one hall they, uh, one tall only the baby zombies will get hit by it. And the- oh my goodness, I need to make my platform bigger. That That's definitely something I need to do in between episodes. Because dying like this is not good. At least we do not have that much levels and money. So yeah, now we can actually start heading back up to the top here so that we can place uh, the zombie spawners. Okay, so now that we're back at the top here, we can break uh, these middle blocks. Oh, we may have to get in. But we can break uh, these middle blocks just like this. And let's grab our spawners. So one there. Uh, one there. One there. And then one right there like that. And then let's hop back out of here. And the zombies should start spawning. Okay, and just like that, uh, the zombies are spawning, starting to spawn. And as you can see, they don't die from the fall damage, but then they get pushed into the cactus. And then they will start dying then. Like, some of them won't die to cactus, but then uh, others will drop in, and then they'll get pushed into the cactus. Just like that, as you saw there. Like, that baby zombie wasn't taking damage, and then uh, another one fell on top of it and pushed it into the cactus. And uh, we already have 12, uh, 14 pieces of rotten flesh. And so yeah, this thing is insane. It, it goes super fast. And I should mention that this design was shown to me by one of my subscribers. Uh, their name is Kartalol. And so yeah, thank you so much for showing me this. And so yeah, now we're gonna have a whole bunch of rotten flesh that we can turn into income. In between episodes, I'll probably definitely AFK here. And yeah, so literally these zombies just keep coming. Like it, this, this farm is OP. Uh, and if we check here, we have a whole bunch of rotten flesh already. Like, I've just, I've stood here for less than a minute. And we already have almost a stack of rotten flesh, which is just insane. Uh, rotten flesh goes for a lot. And if we can automate it so that we're getting it without even having to do anything, uh, that is a lot of money. Okay, and now for the second half of this video, which we are going to be making a cactus farm. Uh, we're gonna be making it over here. This part's kind of like my uh, vegetation and garden area, so we're gonna do it here. Um, so yeah, I, I'm probably gonna do this in a time lapse and not actually narrate like I did with that one, because this one's super simple. It's just like any cactus design that you can get off the internet. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that right now.
Okay, and just like that, our farm is finished. Um, yeah, <laughs> I went a little overkill on the cactus. Uh, this thing is huge. But yeah, now, now we're going to have a lot of cactus. Uh, the cactus grow every, uh, I think it's like 50 minutes, yeah. So, that's the only downside to it, but like, um, yeah, that's this thing. Once it does, once it does grow, once they do grow, this is going to be like two stacks. Yeah, almost two stacks of cactus with just them growing once. So that's that's gonna be insane. Uh, I'm gonna AFK so that they'll grow like a whole bunch. Um, here I'll just tell you how it works, just in case any of you don't know. So what happens is the cactus grows, and then when it grows, it will grow like right there, and the fence post will break it because uh, solid blocks cannot be beside cactus. So the cactus grows, the fence post breaks it, and then the cactus falls off and into the water. I, yeah, I had to make this huge for it to work. But yeah, and then it all funnels down into these hoppers right here that go into this chest. So that's pretty epic. And that's all for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you did uh, hit that like button and if you guys are new uh, subscribe because we are so close to 500 subscribers and I'm trying to get there before the end of the year so if you do subscribe that would mean the world to me uh, in between episodes I'm gonna AFK at the zombie uh, farm a lot and over here a lot so we get a whole bunch of resources and we'll see that in the next episode so if you want to see that subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I upload next. I'm trying to upload daily. I know it doesn't work well. But I'm uploading as much as I can. And yeah, I guess that's all. Hope you guys have an awesome day.